the Taylor family from Clisfine. Charlie and Harriet are among around 100 pupils whose free council bus service to their old Colwyn secondary school from the village is being cut. With just a few weeks to go before the new term starts, they're both worried. For those who can't find alternative transport, it's a three mile walk. It's just unsafe for people. I mean, with a hundred kids, it may seem safe, but also not all of them are going to be acting sensible on roads that busy that can be in the morning. So I don't think that we should be expected to do that. Like, there's no path until Pylos, and I just can't imagine 50 kids or 100 kids going up that way. And there were so many lorries and tractors and cars. It was quite scary. Now Conway Council has written to parents saying that the route has been reassessed and is no longer considered hazardous. But that's left parents baffled, bewildered and angry. It's just not, in my opinion, a viable route for safe walking for, for teenagers. Phil Kappa has been a school governor at Uskell Brunelian for around 30 years. He says what's at stake is far bigger than a rule, saying children living within three miles of their education should pay or find their own way. We believe that uh, not only is this route unsafe, uh, we also believe it might have an impact on educational attainment in pupils being late or not turning up at all if the weather's a little inclement. We, as governors, we have written to them and said that we believe there's a potential here for a serious accident. Angry parents are now backing the option of legal action to reverse the council's decision after the local AM Darren Miller intervened to take up their cause. A week before the summer holidays and then all through the summer holidays we've had to spend our time fighting this. You know, our kids are off school, we want them to have a nice summer and it's been ruined and overshadowed by this dreadful news. The road that was deemed as unsafe for years um, has just suddenly um, become a safe road and it all comes down to what we see as budget cuts. Conway Council confirmed it had written to parents saying it would no longer be able to provide the service and it would be the responsibility of parents to ensure children travel to and from school safely. Ian Lang, ITV News, Slisfine.